you, Glavi family, for inviting me to be a part of this. I knew John my whole life, as well as Darla. My kids grew up with Brett and Craig and Nicole, went to school and Sunday school with them. And in a small town, you're just a small community. And, and that's why it's so fitting today to have this ceremony, to be having it on Mooney Days where you gather family and you bring families together to make more memories. So with that, let us pray. Lord God, we come to you today in prayer as our nation is forever changing. Help us to continue to express gratitude for those who work to keep our nation functioning. Today we thank you that you have caused us to pause and recognize the service of another. We thank you for the life of John Glavi, who led a life of service, and we express our gratitude for providing opportunities for him to serve his country and his community. You provided him with many healthy years to perform a service job, and we thank you for this. By renaming our community Postal Building in his honor, we ask that you are always present in this building, keeping it a place that not only honors the legacy of John Glavi, but honors you. We also pray that you continue to lead this community in whatever we do and bless everyone who enters this building. We acknowledge that every good thing comes from you and pray for your goodness and grace to shine not only today, but for all time. We ask this through your son, Jesus. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. And thank you to the family for letting me carry this legislation. Because this is what it's all about. You know, you always think when you think of someone being in Congress, you think of them going to DC and fighting uh, with other folks, you know, from other states but, and voting on stuff. But this is what it's really all about, is honoring the community. We are here because this is about our rural way of life. You guys know John, you knew John. You know what a wonderful man he was and what he did for the community. And so you're here to honor him. And so it's not about me carrying legislation. It's about you and your sense of community and how you stick together. And it's about rural Minnesota. It's about the way of life we have. And that, that to me is one of the best things that I get to participate in as a member of Congress. Because I get to be part of your community and part of your honoring John. Because my understanding is as I was talking to people and Nicole had mentioned, well, someone said I was a great friend of your dad. And it sounds like he knew everybody. It sounds like he was friends with everybody. People were talking to me as we had. Um, yeah, it was raining a little bit. And I, I'll tell you the same joke. I, we all prayed for rain, but we, but we didn't tell God what time we wanted rain. So I will try to be brief. But it is, um, it, it is certainly my honor, honor, Darla, to be here to honor John with this because he was part of that community and all of you understand that and he did wonderful things he he, he you know 30 was it 36 years as I recall I'm trying to look at my notes that he worked for the post office and was part of this community delivering mail and doing 
just reaching out to people. Someone was telling me about how you drive up to grandma's house after grandma couldn't get down to the um, get down to the post box anymore. You would drive the mail up to her door. And he also checked on her just to make sure she was okay. Congratulations to the family. This is an incredible honor for me to carry the legislation. An incredible honor for you that you were that, that they are honoring John like this. And you will be able to come here every day and see that because this community understands how important he was to the community and as part of uh, helping one another and being part of our way of life. It's wonderful to see so many people from the community and friends and relatives here on this day that we dedicate the post office. John grew up near Burgess and always loved the small town atmosphere. He spent two years in California going to college and then came back to Minnesota. And in 1970, he was drafted into the Army and spent almost two years in the Army. After he was discharged from the Army, he worked in Minneapolis for the post office for a short time, but decided to come back and work on the family farm or his grandfather's farm. And um, at that time, his dad, Dale, was the real mail carrier, and John would sub for his dad on weekends. When Dale passed away, John took over as full-time real mail carrier. He still continued to farm as, along with his brother, Glenn. John enjoyed getting to know many people on his mail route. There were times during the winter when he would help people who were stuck. He would deliver groceries, medicine, and sometimes even cigarettes. <laughs> I remember one time when he came home and said he delivered someone to his brother. And I kind of looked and wondered what he was talking about, and he said he had his urn of ashes that he delivered. John was always changing lots of flat tires. It seems like Every day there was a flat tire, and he sometimes had to change them more than once a day. He enjoyed all the cookies and treats that everybody on the mail route would put in the mailbox or invite him in to have coffee. Often at Christmas time, when it was such a busy time, he would deliver packages in the evening when people were at home from work. Our children grew up helping him on the farm and sometimes on the mail road. They all have become dedicated, hardworking individuals. I believe all three developed their great work ethic and caring attitude because of their dad. The Glavi family has always been a part of the Burgess community most of their lives. John's parents, Dale and Bernice, at one time owned the loon's nest just across the street. And Brian, his brother, had the TV shop that was in one of the buildings right over there. Brian's um, mother, or John's mother, also worked at the hardware store for a short time. And I think most everyone knows Kathy Glavy, who has worked at the Burgess State Bank for years. Nancy, at one time worked in the post office here as the clerk and she now works at the St. John's Church. And I think everyone probably remembers Smiley, John's brother. He was always around town doing something. Burgess has always been a close-knit community. Everyone knows each other and they work hard to make Burgess that hometown feeling, or have that hometown feeling. John loved being part of Burgess, especially enjoyed going to Billy's to talk to everyone and to spend time with his friends and play cards. He worked at many of the events. Many days was one of the events he worked at and also Maple Fest. And now to recognize John by naming the post office after him is a great honor, not only to him, but 
to us as his family. We owe a huge debt of thanks to Congresswoman Michelle Fishbach for recognizing John's contribution to the Burgess community and for being instrumental in introducing legislation that was signed into law. We especially want to thank Jeff Sitso, Lee Dahlgren, and Kim Doyle for signing letters of support. Also, thanks to all the Burgess community and those who were in the surrounding area and on his real route. Mostly, I want to thank my three children and their families who pursued, pursued this idea. I miss John every day. He was my one and only, and I know he would be so honored seeing every one of you here and having the post office dedicated to him. Thank you so much for coming out in the rain. And I'll be quiet now. <laughs> Thank you for the kind invitation to join today for the ceremony to celebrate the rededication of the Burgess Post Office, now named the John Ver Ger Garvey, Garvey. Garvey. I'm sorry, y'all, Garvey Post Office. Wow, my schedule prevents me from being present in person. I would like to take the moment to recognize the importance of this facility and to appreciate our postal workers and all federal employees who choose careers in service. As you know, this post office will honor the life of retired Varghese mail carrier, John Glarvey, who dutifully served his neighbors and his community for 36 years. Mr. Glarvey began his postal carrier career after serving in the U.S. Army and took up the rural route of his, father, his late father, of his late father. The life of Mr. Garvey and his commitment to service to others will be remembered forever <coughs> through the post office rededication. I truly, I am truly grateful for Americans like Mr. Garvey, Garvey <coughs> who put country before self. In Minnesota, we know the value of the United States Postal Service. And more importantly, our local post office. Minnesotans rely on the Postal Service for so many things, including access to their prescriptions, receiving their paychecks, casting their ballots, and staying connected to family and friends. Our local post offices are an integral part of our communities, not only because they provide so many essential resources and services, but also because the United States Postal Service helps connect people and businesses all around the world. Thank you again for the invitation to join you today. I look forward to our continued work together, and I am proud to serve you in the U.S. Senate, United States Senate. Sincerely, Amy Klobuchar, U.S. Senator. So on behalf of the United States Postal Service and the Minnesota North Dakota District, I want to welcome the family, family of John Glavy, Congresswoman Michelle Fishbach, hopefully it's a bye. Bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. State Senator Jordan Rasmussen, State Representative Tom Murphy, our distinguished guests, and to all of you attending today's rededication ceremony. The Postal Service proudly plays the role of connecting neighbors in our community to the nation. Our post offices serve as a lifeline for small businesses to reach customers no matter where they are. I've already been tackled in the, in the front over, over an issue, so it is very important. When you think about it, a post office provides a community with its very identity. It connects businesses with customers, government officials with constituents, and residents with loved ones. It is particularly fitting that we gather here today at the the Vergas Post Office to rededicate the United States Post Office building in honor of the life and legacy of John Glave. Glave, I'll get it right. John, a U.S. Army veteran, started his professional journey with the United States Postal Service in Minneapolis. Later, he returned to Vergas, shouldering the responsibility of the family dairy farm with his brother in the late 1990s. After his father's passing, John undertook the role of delivering mail for Fergus and its neighboring areas through the rural mail route. He diligently carried out his duty for 36 years, cultivating in a well-earned retirement in 2011. 
According to his family, John was always the first to extend a helping hand when needed and the last to seek assistance for himself. He labored more diligently than most, managing two full-time jobs, thus providing his family and community with a role model for leading a virtuous and commendable life. John exemplified the work, exemplified the life of a public servant, having served in the U.S. Army and dedicating 36 years of his life to being a mail carrier in service to his neighbors. His impact on the Fergus community was exceptional, and renaming the post office in his honor will ensure the enduring remembrance of his life and his service. The renaming of the postal facility is a special tribute. It takes an act of Congress, literally, <laughs> and the signature of the President of the United States to make it happen. Sponsored in the House of Representatives by Congresswoman Michelle Fishbach, the Legislative Act gives the United States Postal Service the privilege of having the name of John Glave, Glave associated with the Fergus Post Office. Only those individuals held in high esteem are considered for this honor. John Glave was one such individual. By dedicating this building, we pay tribute to Mr. Glave and to all the pub public servants who make significant contributions to our country and their communities. H.R. 5952 designates the facility of the United States Postal Service at 123 East Main Street in Fergus, Minnesota as the John Glavy Post Office. So at this time, I'd like to invite Congresswoman Fishbach up, Fergus Clerk Mark Frazier, family members to come forward to unveil the plaque that will be mounted inside the Postal Service lobby. It is a great privilege and pleasure to have the honor of presenting this beautiful symbol of our country, the flag of the United States of America, the stars and stripes to the family of John Glavie on behalf of the United States Postal Service. And Mark's going to do that. Thank you. Let us pray. Jesus, we thank and praise you for the people that gathered here today, the Galavi family, the postal employees, the veterans, our government officials, and our community. John Glavi was a servant to many in this community, so help us to continue to be good members of this community, making us instruments of his peace. In your name, we praise and honor you and thank you for this opportunity of remaining this postal building, the John Glavi Postal Office. Amen. Amen. Please sing along if you've heard this song before. While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us swear allegiance to a land that's free. Let us all be grateful that we're far from there. As we raise our voices in a solemn prayer, God bless America. Mountains to the prairies to 
that concludes today's ceremony. Have a wonderful day.